Thank you. Well, two Little Rock parents are left with a lot of questions after their son was rejected from attending the Arkansas School for the Blind. Our Jessica Rank visited the school and heard from parents who say they're just not sure what to do next. Are you ready? You go Pen down in by hand. Yourself. Straight down. Oh, good. Parker right. Taylor practices yeah. the fundamentals right. of his Remember? ABCs. He loves to learn, so we were excited about him going back to school. For the past yeah. two years, this, this has been Parker's classroom. Oh, okay. That was, that, was, that was okay. His parents pulled him out of school at the start of the pandemic because of a weak immune system. But when it came time to re-enroll at the Arkansas School for the Blind, plans came to a sudden stop. That was kind of confusing to us because he was already a student there. His parents say they received this letter from the school, a rejection for admission. In it, the district says it lacks classroom space and programming to meet Parker's needs, adding he, quote, lacks readiness for Braille. What do we do? Braille ready? What do you mean? You know, how do we get him Braille ready? In the school's handbook, there is no mention of Braille readiness as a requirement for admission. As a second opinion, I emailed the Department of Education, who confirmed it was not required. Now we're extremely confused at this point and wondering why is this happening like this? Why are we seeing this? You know, why is it so difficult for Parker to get what he needs? For months, the Taylors say they've been trying to get answers, but are often left at a dead end. And so are we, as the Department of Education continually cites privacy concerns for their lack of comment. The only thing we're trying to do is, is educate our kid. That's it, and give him the best opportunity he can. The Taylors say they will explore every option for their son's education. Until then, hey, here he will it. sit. That's your numbers. His classroom hey. at home.